Well, I think he was. Um, he was. He, he was undoubtedly one of the great racing writers of, of the post-war era. I I would probably say I, I I would put him at the top of the pile. He he combined. There's there's sort of been a long tradition of writers and riders who've combined the two careers. And and he he in 1963 he finished second in the Grand National on Carrickbeg and. It was sort of criminal, really, because he led to the last couple of strides when he was overtaken by Ayala, who beat him three quarters of a length. And it was one of the great sort of Corinthian Grand National rides. And John, being John, had then had to go into the press room, um, probably didn't even have time to change, um, and write 800 words for the for the Telegraph on how I came second in the Grand National, which must have been incredibly hard. Uh, and and he did it with such aplomb and, um, and w- would have you know taken the reader through the race um probably one of the great articles of all time his biggest legacy i think people would probably say is that he was one of the founder members of or founders of the Interjockeys fund which is now a huge uh, charity looking after jockeys who get injured looking after old retired jockeys who've fallen on hard times uh, and and uh, they have a you know it is a huge they have a huge turnover, um, and he founded that and it is it is uh, you know it you know for for the modern jockey that they owe that to to, to John Oakesy.